Hi welcome back in today video we will be looking at text to speech. Text to speech has gained popularity over the years and become better and better. In this video I will just be looking at a free tool, 100% free lifetime with no time limit. There is a lot of free text to speech software, either they are two robotics voice or the free voice has a lot of limitation. And no I am not talking about math or speechlow, those are good text to speech software that generate AI voice, but it is not free and if you are fine with paying those are great software. Here is what you will be getting from this video. How and where to get a human like text to speech software for free. 100% free lifetime with no limit. We will need two piece of software here. The first software is from Microsoft and it is the OneNote for Windows. And the second software is Audacity, this is a free software. We will also be looking at other language of text to speech beside English. We can also have Chinese text to speech or Spanish text to speech. With that let's get started. Okay, so what you have just heard earlier on is actually a text to speech software. So if you like the video so far and you like the text to speech, then please continue on. If you find the voice is not what you are looking for, then you can just skip the video. So we will need two pieces of software here. The first one is OneNote for Windows 10. So let's go to the Microsoft Store. So when you are at a Microsoft Store, you are going to look for this OneNote. This is a software that we need, OneNote for Windows 10. If you are using Windows 11, I think by default the OneNote is already installed in the Windows 11 system. So you are going to download this one and you are going to open. And this is a cloud-based service. So when you are at this OneNote, after you download, then you will come to this screen and then you can just add a page. So I have three different pages here. There's a very limited setting over here, but this is a free tool and there's no time limit and it is free and you can use it for as long as you want. In order to start the text to speech, we need to write our text here and then click on this view and the immersive reader is what we want. So when you click on this one, and you can play it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and share the video. Thank you. There's not a lot of setting to change here, except for the speed and then the male and female voice. But I think the default speed is fine. And then the other option that you can change is change it to a male voice. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and share the video. Thank you. So with this, we only have the text to speech, so how do we save it as an MP3? Because the OneNote for window or the immersive reader do not support direct download the text to a speech, so we need another software. So the software that we need is actually Audacity. And this is a free software, so just search for Audacity and then you can go to the first link over here. This is a website and then you can just download. Depending on whether you are using a Mac or Windows, just download the version that you want. Once you download it, install the software. And once you install this software, you have this icon Audacity. Let's start the software. And we can just close this box. The important thing to note here is actually this MME. By default, this will record from your microphone. And that is something that we don't want. So we need to change this to window wasabi. I don't know how this is pronounced. Step number one, change this to window wasabi. And step number two, you actually wanted to choose your speaker over here. By default, it is set to mic. And this is not what we want. Because if it's set to mic, then you'll pick up your sound from the mic. So we want to change this to a speaker. Depending on which speaker you are using, you want to change it to your actual speaker. And this is the speaker that I'm, I'm using. 
so with this step then we are almost done so just bear with me for a moment so when i press this button over here what audacity do is it start to listen for voice coming out from your computer audio if there's no voice coming out it won't record and that is actually a good thing so now we need to go to the immersive reader and start playing it so let's try it and then i will start to play it if you like this video please like and subscribe and share the video thank you And now, when we go back to Audacity, then we can see that it starts to record the voice. So when you press the record button, with this setting, Window Wasapi and the mic, you change it to the your speaker, and you press the record button, it actually listens for voices coming out from your computer, not from your mic. And this is the most important step. So if you have a very long script, let's say a 5 minute or 10 minute script what you can do is just press the record button and then go to immersive reader start playing and the audacity will start to record and then you can just make your coffee take a shower and come back later and the file is there so just now I was using my phone camera to record because when I'm using a screen recorder they will detect when I'm talking, that is a computer voice, so it start to record. So once this is done, we can just save it, use the export function, and then we can just export it as an MP3 file. So that is how we actually use the Audacity. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and share the video. Thank you. So now you can use this MP3 for whatever project that you are doing. And one other good thing about this OneNote Immersive Reader is that it can read different language. Okay, let's say I wanted to read this text in another language. We are just go to Google Translate. And then we are just putting in our text. This is English. So we want to change it to, let's say, Chinese. So we will just select Chinese. And then we will just copy the text here. Go back to OneNote. We want to get rid of this one. This is actually the title for your own reference. It doesn't matter. So we can just go to Immersive Reader again. So that is a Chinese text to speech. And it is completely free. And then we can also try other language. Maybe let's try Japanese, if there is any Japanese, I'm not sure. Although I don't know any Japanese, but I believe the translation should be quite accurate. So let's take a look. This video is if you like this video, please like it and share it. Thank you very much. このビデオが気に入ったら、ビデオを気に入って購読して共有してください。ありがとうございます。To me, that is a pretty impressive text-to-speech. Especially if you think about it, you can have this for a lifetime. No time limit, no restriction. The only thing you have to do is that you have to use Audacity to record it. But that's fine because the uh, Audacity have already done out most of the thing for you. So you just hit the record button, take a shower, have your coffee, come back, and the file is ready for you to export. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and share the video. Thank you.